And the Pentagon is defending an airstrike on pro-Assad fighters last week that reportedly killed dozens of Russian mercenaries. More than 100 fighters were killed when they attacked a base held by U.S. and Kurdish forces. The Pentagon says the strike was self-defense. Joining me right now, John Bolton, former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, now a senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute and a Fox business contributor. What's your reaction to the Russian mercenaries and uh, their death? Well, I think uh, whenever American forces uh, associated with uh, the Syrian rebels come under threat, uh, we're entirely, uh, it's entirely proper for us to engage in self-defense. If there were Russian mercenaries there, that's their problem. Uh, we know that uh, President Trump spoke with President Putin in the past several days. I'm sure that was one of the subjects they covered. It's a dangerous situation in that, uh, in that region because this is a multi-sided conflict. Uh, and I think it's a reflection that we don't have, really, still don't have a strategy to deal with a post-ISIS Syria and Iraq. So it's very, that was dangerous. It's dangerous when Iran sends drones into Israel to attack them and Israel retaliates. Uh, I think there's more to come here. It's not going to get more peaceful in the near future. Mm, and that's just the Middle East. Let's turn to North Korea. Uh, I don't know if you've caught any of the Olympic coverage, but uh, the media certainly has. You had many members of the American media just swooning over Kim Jong-un's younger sister, who is head of the propaganda department there in North Korea and has uh, been responsible for numerous executions. Yet that didn't bother the media, John Bolton. Uh, they were, were hailing her as somehow the, the, the North Korean version of Ivanka Trump and uh, saying how she's putting a whole new face on the regime. What did you think when you heard that, sir? Well, I think a lot of the American media have the historical attention span of fruit flies. I mean, the fact that they didn't uh, talk about what else this lady does for her day job, she's head of the propaganda and agitation department of the ruling Workers' Party, the Communist Party of uh, North Korea. Uh, they act like uh, her appearance in South Korea is some great new development. In fact, uh, the, the two Korean teams have marched together in three prior Olympics. She extends an invitation to the South Korean president to go to the north. That's the beginning of peace in our time. That's also happened twice before. And absolutely none of that history had any effect on North Korea's nuclear weapons program. So it really it should be embarrassing if, uh, if these outlets were capable of embarrassment for the incompetence of their reporters. They're doing the propaganda work for her. I yeah. mean, I, it's yeah. as though they're on the payroll, uh, part of the North Korean propaganda department. I, I'm just curious, Ambassador, given, given your wealth of experience as ambassador to the U.N., I mean, you had to have seen things like this happen during your time. I mean, I can remember uh, seeing reports on Venezuela where, you know, you had a network correspondence uh, touting the benefits of the Venezuelan uh, regime there with Hugo Chavez, which we know uh, clearly was not a good thing and is not a good thing for those people there today. But I mean, what do you think as, as someone on the inside who was there as ambassador to the U.N. when you know the truth and the media is painting an entirely different picture? Well, I don't think they're doing their homework. I think they buy the surface appearance and uh, they fall for this kind of propaganda all the time. It's a, it's a long-standing problem. Uh, back uh, at the time of the Russian Revolution, Vladimir Lenin referred to people in the West who didn't understand communism, who would help facilitate uh, the Soviets achieving their objectives. Mm -hmm. He called them useful idiots. And mm -hmm. uh, it's a very good phrase, and it, it was demonstrated in, in South Korea this past weekend. Yeah, no, it's, it's interesting. Uh, they are the useful idiots. I mean, they would say that people, and I'm talking about the, the leftist media, people that don't understand all of this somehow, uh, that they're the idiots, that uh, the right is somehow not as smart as the left. But, uh, you know, I guess we all know better. Thank you so much, Ambassador John Bolton. It's Glad to, to be with you. you.